and welcome to the latest episode and the final installment of this particular version of Behind the Scenes of Enterprising Minds. So if you uh, are just jumping in now, we did two previous episodes where we walk through the tools we use in terms of microphones and video recording, video editing, audio editing uh, in the first two episodes. So go check those out if those are interest, um, interesting to you. You can find transcripts and links to all of the software or hardware that we use on davedoherdymedia.com slash enterprising minds. And in there, you can find all of the transcripts for all of the other episodes that we've done. So go check that out. Um, if you are listening to the podcast version of this, you may prefer the video version. So go check that out on the Enterprising Minds YouTube channel. And um, that way you can see a lot, of, um, a lot of the things that we're working through. But in today's episode... What we're covering is the post-production section of uh, our process. So what does that mean? That means the recording has already been done, the audio editing, the video editing has already been done, and now we're using the uh, transcription and captions that we got from Descript, and we'll use that to repurpose the content into other forms and... Um, and then do the promotion of the episodes through the transcript. So at this point in time, we're leveraging the best available tools um, that work for us, but we'll cover things like um, graphic design tools like Canva, um, how I leverage AI to assist me in creating um, the various promotional materials or summaries um, I edit all of it though. So we're not just talking about, Hey, AI does it. And I just blindly put it up. No, I, I don't, I don't play that way. So, <laughs> um, all right. I hope you find this interesting and we will see you at the end of the episode for some final thoughts. Take care. That you will see here. Um, this is where I capture all the episode information. Um, you know, in case I need to do anything with it, <laughs> um, I'll expand expand this a little bit. So you can see I have the timestamps and the titles for the timestamps where I have done timestamps. Um, whether or not it's all three of us or who's actually presenting in the particular episode, um, you know, all that kind of episode data is captured in this this content calendar piece. Um, I also have for the YouTube piece, um, as well as the podcast, again, with the templates, I took the time to write an example thing out here so that all I have to do is grab it and paste it and then do a little bit of light editing. And that just makes it a lot better. Um, I also, in order to get Instagram and social shares, and the YouTube thumbnails, we use Canva. Um, again, this is all templated so that all I have to do is drop in the episode title. And then I have the, the version for that. So this, is, this has been great. Canva has been awesome. Um, it's also how I created the, um, the intro and the outro videos, you know, the bumpers. Um, so totally use use canva it's wonderful now we had talked about all the gpts within within chat gpt um and the announcements once i saw that open ai dev day i went ahead and just paid for the extra um the extra version of chat gpt right the paid pro whatever it is they call it and i created one that I simply have to um, grab the transcript. So this is the transcript from the, the books episode that we were looking at in Descript. I literally just drop it into, um, here we go. I don't know why that didn't. Chat 
chat GPT is not working for me. Here we go. Okay, so once I saw the, the developer day presentations from ChatGPT, I knew I had to plop down and get into the, the GPTs and creating something custom. So um, so much of the, the post transcript shows of the show production piece um, is very templated. It's very much the same thing over and over and over again. Um, so I created this to output basically all of the text that I would want based on the transcript. So it's not generating anything except for what's off the episode transcript. So um, I can take the Word document that um, the script exported and then execute the code in the back and you will see, I will get a YouTube description. I will get some um, tags that are associated with what was in the episode. Um, it kind of gives you a, a summary as well as um, some meta descriptions for the web page, uh, title ideas. And uh, one thing that I did that I really liked <laughs> because I did it, um, or at least I'm happy that I thought of it, um, was based on the transcript, give me some follow-up episode ideas that we could then come and talk. So for every episode now that I've done this transcript for, um, we now have follow-on episodes, at least ideas to talk about. And if, they, if they're of any interest, great. If not, fine. You know, it's just like any brainstorming piece. Two other sections that you can see that are coming out here. I ask it to pull any notable quotes from the episode that we might be able to use for social media. Um, and then three to five Facebook or LinkedIn posts um, to promote the episode. And then the meta description. Almost all of this I end up editing in some way. Or I tell it to do, um, I tell it to do some additional work. Um, you know, sometimes that gives me the tags in the wrong format, or, um, I'm not quite happy with the meta description, or, uh, it didn't do the summary quite in the way that I want to use it for the website. So, um, yeah, I get all of this information. I copy this, I put it in a word document and, um, then I have all of my show notes. So after all of this, I can then, and once everything is done uploading, or uploading and rendering and whatever onto YouTube and, and Buzzsprout. Um, all of that is set up. I create the web page on Dave Doherty Medium slash Enterprising Minds. And then um, you'll get, you know, that landing page uh, with all the different episodes. And if you click into any of those episodes, you will see an embedded YouTube video. Um, the summary kind of of what we talked about an embedded podcast player and then um some of the key ideas and then the transcript from descript and at first i didn't think that you know the transcript would actually do much um because i come from writing so many blogs that are about an episode in order to promote an episode but um I can honestly say that through posting the transcript, um, we're ranking for some kind of crazy terms. Uh, and, and that's been pretty awesome. Now, one tool that I want to shout out that has been absolutely amazing is this Opus Clip piece. Because one of the things that I don't really want to do, but I know I should, is create vertical video clips from the shows that we create. And what this tool does is you give it a YouTube video and then it creates, you know, 30 to 60 second clips based on the transcript. And then it gives you 29, 30 options per YouTube link. And then I can come in here, change the overlay. Um, I will change the title later because you can't do it here. Um, 
but then, you know, I can come in and edit the transcript and the caption and the design again, template it out so that I don't have to do a ton of work. Um, I can choose which sentences that we want to use, uh, insert emojis, and then we can export these and get the team's approval before posting them. Um, but that, in a nutshell, is essentially from recording it via Zoom all the way through posting and promoting um, on the channels that we have decided to do. So, okay, so over the last three episodes, we've covered recording, um, audio capturing, editing, video capturing, editing, um, post production, and uh, repurposing. So lots to unpack here. Uh, like I said, in the second episode's outro, there's so many tools that are available uh, to use for these types of things. We just wanted to show what uh, is possible and what we use and what we have found has worked for us. So uh, if you find all the gear talk intimidating, don't worry about it. I actually reached out to Alex and Ruthie, said, hey, can you what gear are you guys using? Um, and Ruthie is doing the MVP, you know? So as an example for everybody, she is using her, um, her headphones, her Apple headphones, her computer's uh, camera, and just the computer's microphone. So uh, totally bare bones. You don't need all the fancy gear unless um unless you want to go down that path uh like i do <laughs> um so anyway i hope you all enjoy this let us know if you have any other questions comments thoughts on uh how we um maybe develop ideas for the show or uh anything that might have sparked your interest during during these last episodes so thank you so much for tuning in uh hope this helps you get that idea out into the world that you might have been holding on to and uh yeah we will see you in the next episode of enterprising minds take care